Hello lovelies, this is Sabah Musharraf from Favors and More and in today's uh, short video I am going to talk about how you can use your scoreboard to draw emboss. So let's get started. So there are a, a few designs that you can create using your uh, scoreboard. I am just going to go over three which uh, I find to be the most useful. You begin by aligning your uh, cardstock to the scoreboard and then you start scoring at one inch intervals, half inch intervals. Right? Can you see that? Okay. Then to make these more interesting, you just score at one eighth inch randomly. Right? So this creates a very versatile uh, embossed design which looks very pretty on simple cards. I'm going to use this side of the cardstock to show you another design. For this, uh, I'm going to use my uh, envelope guide. Right. And I'm going to align my cardstock. And then I will score at half an inch intervals. Right. So we do two and a half, two, one. And four and a half, right? So you have diagonals, right? And then we will align the longer side of the cardstock and do the exact same thing. So we score at two, two and a half, five and a half. And then we score at six. Okay. And you get this beautiful lattice design, right? So that's two. Okay, so if you, after I do this, I'm just going to uh, color one of these uh, embossed designs just to show you how pretty they look um, once you add color to them. Now I'm going to remove this and I am going to just create a third design and here I'm just going to align the cardstock and I am going to make checks now right so I'm going to score this at uh, but I'm going to create checks here and I'm going to leave some space in the center um, and I'm going to do that design for this entire piece so I'm going to score at 0.25 inches right and I'm just going to go nearly halfway and stop and then I'll do another 0.25 inches and another 0.25 inches and another now if you notice I'm just reducing the size of the lines right this is because I want the design to be a bit right that's because I don't want these coming all the way down I just want to have it in the corners I flip my cardstock and I do the exact same thing here. Then I'm going to align the shorter side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Right. Okay. So this creates a beautiful embossed design on the corners. Now, right? Now I'm just going to ink this up so that I can show you how beautiful this design looks and how you can use this to make a card. Okay, so for inking the cardstock, I have taken uh, two colors that uh, go with the element that I'll be adding, which is this butterfly. Right, this is a jelly printed butterfly. I'm really into jelly printing these days. So, so the colors we'll be working with are seedless preserves and uh, salty ocean. Right, I might use uh, 
faded jeans but I'm not too sure we'll just see as we move along so I'm going to start with the seedless preserves and I'm just going to start inking the cardstock I'll just zoom in so that you can see better okay. Okay. then we just start inking and you can see that the design starts becoming more prominent as we ink it up right so I've left spaces uh, you can see I've left these white spaces uh, because I'm going to stamp my uh, sentiment and place my embellishment accordingly then I'm just going to move on with the salty ocean now now before I add the sentiment I am now going to place my uh, embellishment just so that I have a good idea of where I want it to be just cleaning off my mat so that it doesn't dirty my card okay so I think this is where I'll keep it and uh, the sentiment uh, you have a special way of making the world a better place I think I'm going to have some of it on the top and half of it at the bottom so I'm going to ink up I'm going to ink up half of my stamp. I'll just ink up the whole thing actually. Right. Now I'm going to just plan where I want the sentiment to be, and I am going to hide half of it by using a extra sheet of paper and just going to stamp that and press down And you have a beautiful card ready. Uh, do try uh, using this technique in your uh, future projects. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.